Thank you for that. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Rihanna Estrada. I'm the creative director of Public Matters. And um, Public Matters started in around 2006. Um, it was a group of folks who, um, who came from um, a lot of different backgrounds, among them um, artists, educators, and folks who work in new media. And when we first got together, um, we, we very um, specifically got together around the notion of working not, not just with artists, but working with people outside artistic disciplines. Um, so we, um, we do long-term place-based projects. Um, and that's a really important piece for public matters because it really sets the tone of the scale of the work that we do. We tend to do ambitious projects um, that are multidisciplinary and, um, and multi-sector. So that means that we're, we're working with community organizations, residents, primarily youth, um, government organizations to do these projects because we're not just interested in the notion of interventions. Um, what we're really interested in is deep, meaningful, long-term transformation. So uh, Public Matters is not a nonprofit. It's uh, an LLC. We're a social enterprise. Um, and what that means is that we cannot apply for grants, usually, not on, uh, not on our own. Um, and we chose uh, the, not the, the LLC format um, because we thought, like we'd all had experience working in nonprofits, and we thought, well, maybe we could experiment and see if this works better. Uh, it's still an experiment in progress, um, admittedly. Um, but the goal was to, to try to figure out if we could be more nimble at the work that we were trying to do. And because Public Matters uh, attempts to do work that is um, longer term and cross-disciplinary, um, multi-sector, um, we really need, uh, that type of work requires a lot of um, time, labor, it's huge investment, and it also needs a big infusion of cash, capitalization. Um, and so what we've done is to really try to figure out a way to, to integrate artistic practices and creative strategies into other disciplines. Um, we really do believe that artists are um, some of the most um, um, underutilized resources when it comes to social change. And, um, and artists have a lot to offer the world outside the art world and outside the studio. So um, we made a, a, a very um, deliberate decision um, to pursue projects um, and funding sources that come out, uh, that, that are outside um, traditional arts funding streams. Um, so before I move on, I wanna just talk about um, what makes for a Public Matters project. Um, public Matters works, um, it's not as if Public Matters has an idea and they go into a community and they execute it. Um, it really is about um, having a conversation and a dialogue with folks in the community um, so that it's not a drag and drop model. Um, so that the, the projects that, we're, that we create are very much of the community and, and driven by the folks there and, um, and shaped by their needs and their perspectives. So um, people in the, uh, the first panel this morning talked about the importance of building relationships. Mad props to that. That's a, at the very core of what we do is relationship building, making sure that there's respect um, across the board. Um, because we're not, you know, we're not, we, know, we realize that we're coming in from the outside. And, um, and, and in many ways, we're guests in people's communities. And, and we have to respect that. So a big part of that uh, from the outset is going in knowing that you're, you value local knowledge, expertise, and experience. The people that we're working with, they're the experts in their community, and we can learn from them. You know, it's not just, uh, it's not a top-down kind of um, hierar uh, hierarchical structure. Um, and so when you have those other things in place, then you can start to think about the idea of buy-in. Because once you have, you know, once uh, you, you have a project that's relevant uh, to community and, um, and you, have, um, uh, you have respect that's in place, then you can start to get people involved in the process of making the work together, right? So all the work we do is participatory and collaborative. 
So, um, you know, relationship building takes time, you know, it's commitment. Um, and so, you know, these folks, we, uh, we started working with them when they were teens. Um, and so uh, the, these projects are not measured in, in months. Like they have to, uh, they require years in order to come to fruition. Uh, and so, like I said, we do um, work, we do multi-sector partnerships because that's an important way of making sure that the work that we do is embedded in the communities where we're working. And that goes to a, um, a, a later point around um, sustainability, right? It has to be, like the people who are, the communities that we serve have to feel like it's part of their community. And so I'm gonna give an example of um, a project uh, that we've done. I, I love that they showed charts this morning. I was very excited because I get to share charts too. Um, this is my one and only chart. Um, so this is an example of a project um, that we did um, that is um, outside, that got funding outside of arts funding. Um, this got funded by the NIH, the National Institutes for Health, which, surprise, surprise, actually has a lot more money than agencies like the NEA. Um, the, we're, we're actually part of a project that is um, a five-year, $10 million project. No, Public Matters doesn't get 10 million, although that would be nice someday. Um, but, uh, but we are part of this larger project to address um, cardiovascular health uh, um, in Latinos in East LA and Boyle Heights. Now, I'm, my training is, a, 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 is as a visual artist. If you would have told me like 10 years ago that I would be doing work that's related to public health, I, I, I would think you're completely nuts. I didn't even know public health was really. Um, but right now, as it stands, the, the project itself um, is funded by the National Institutes for Health. And unbeknownst to them, they're actually funding what is you know, in, uh, considered in the art world a social practice project. So NIH is funding so, like a social practice project where we're addressing um, healthy food access in neighborhoods that are food deserts. So if you look at the... Um, my little chart here, there's the, the, um, the agency that actually got the funding is the UCLA USC Center for Population Health and Health Disparities, or CPHHD. The project is a very large research project. Um, there are multiple parts to it. Um, we're in the project three section of the, um, uh, of the center, um, Proyecto Mercado Fresco, where we're working with, we're probably, you can see from the chart that Public Matters is working with local youth and corner stores and community organizations and municipal agencies. So we're really like, we're kind of infiltrating and embedding our creative strategies and artistic processes within the context of a public health grant. So what we're doing um, with, uh, within Mercado Fresco is this project called Market Makeovers. Um, it's the process of transforming um, local corner stores to offer healthier food options in communities that have limited access. Um, so, uh, you know, in the public health field, um, they're, they're called corner store conversions. Uh, rolls off the tongue, you know corner store conversions. Um, but we feel that for, uh, from, a, from Public Matters perspective, it's really important not just to focus on the actual physical transformation of the store. You also have to uh, address not just the supply side of the equation, bringing in fruits and vegetables. You also have to um, address the demand side of it. You have to make sure that there are gonna be people there who want to buy the fruits and, who will buy the fruits and vegetables so that the project itself is sustainable. So in East LA and Boyle Heights, there are high rates of cardiovascular disease. Um, there are, you know, uh, communities of, of uh, low income, communities of color tend to have higher rates of chronic diseases that, um, that are related to diet or poor diet. Um, and so we work with um, uh, young people, some of whom um, came from these two high schools, um, and to, to change their food environment. Because I mean, the because the idea is that like changing health behaviors is not an easy thing, and it really does require creativity because you can't just finger wag, and you can't just drag you know drop in experts to say, oh no, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't eat that. They're not people are not going to listen, and so we uh, public matters has found that the most effective way of bringing about change is to work directly with people from those communities 
to create messages so that they can, uh, so that the messages that they're trying to convey can actually reach the folks in their families, their friends, their community.